Hey, hey, hey. So, uh, it's been a little while since I've given you an update on this car. Um, we are building a roll cage for it right now. Um, I did some body, not some body work, some stitch welding on the, in the engine bay. Uh, I'll, sh we'll get to all that here in a minute. Um, we removed uh, a lot of the uh, sound deadening material that's in there, in the car. Um, and we started building the cage, uh, which is this guy right here. Uh, well, this is just the main hoop that I've made so far. Uh, we've been all this, it's all 4130 chromoly. Um, there's my shitty welds. Uh, they're actually not that bad. They're not the best ones I've ever done, but they're not that bad. Um, so, I'll get y'all, get y'all, get y'all all, get all y'all up to speed, um, kind of where we're at, and hopefully we can get the better part of this cage wrapped up so we can start fitting up uh, all-wheel drive stuff that we're in. What I'm trying to do here is um, pull this bracket out. Uh, this was the old motor mount um, from the D series that was in it, the factory motor mount. And we don't need it. Our new motor mount's gonna go right here for the K series. Uh, so this is kind of my way of, uh, my path of no return, I guess you'd say. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this nifty little guy right here. Uh, it's a spot weld removal tool. They're dirt cheap, you can get them at Harbor Freight. Um, they're two-sided, you can flip this around and reuse it. Uh, if, it, if you've never used one of these before, you've got all these spot welds. Um, and what you want to do is you want to try to get in the middle of them, like right there, and drill a little pilot hole, a little itty bitty guy, just to keep this punch centered. Um, and then you'll go right into the middle of it with your drill and spin and it'll eat everything up. Uh, we're also going to get rid of all the body cock in here um, in the whole engine bay. And you'll see why later but let's see how well this works got this side of the chassis stitch welded. Um, all the seam sealers out, obviously. Um, now, I uh, still gotta block these holes right here. I got some plates made for that. Um, still gotta stitch weld this. If you look here, I got it marked in uh, one inch increments. Uh, that's where I'll tack weld. Um, still got to stitch weld all that right there. Um, if you ever try to do this at home, uh, use a MIG welder, don't use a TIG welder. I made the mistake of trying to use a TIG welder um, over here. I got this far. Um, now I blew that little hole in it right there. And it burnt the living piss out of me. Um, I would jump around screaming like a chicken with my head cut off but it fucking sucked. So, um, that's where we're at. Let's uh, finish stitch welding this joker and get some primer on these spots.
so uh, I've done quite a bit. Almost got the car completely stripped out. <laughs> I know I've said that about fucking 400 times now. Um, the windshield is out. And uh, now I'm gonna pull out this back window just to give you an idea of what all it takes since I haven't uh, recorded any of it. This little thing right here came from Harbor Freight along with two of these little guys and this wire is about the most valuable thing you can have. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and strip it out. Uh, we're doing Lexane in the whole car except for maybe the windshield, I don't know. Um, but either way, we gotta get it out of there. So, here we go. Okay, so we got uh, the rear quarter windows out. Still have to do the back window windshield um you know still got to do the doors and we'll get to that here pretty soon um but what we're gonna do right now is something i've never tried before at least this method um i've done it with a chisel but i've never done it with uh with dry ice uh, we're gonna try to pull the sound deadening material out of the bottom of the car uh, and it's just basically this tar stuff um it's a pain in the ass to get out any other time i've ever tried it it's been a pain in the ass to get out um, but this is supposed to be the easy way to do it. So what we've got, we've got what the grocery store said is 24 pounds of dry ice, which should be a little overkill for what we're trying to do. I don't think it's 24 pounds, but their scale said it's 24 pounds. And then um, I've got a bunch of alcohol. And the goal here is to crush up the dry ice into little itty bitty pieces, almost like a dust if you can. Um, and then mix alcohol with it and turn it into kind of like a paste and spread it all over the sound deadening material uh, and it should start cracking uh, which means it's it's separating itself and the 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 tar is freezing um and then it should just pop right off um like i said i've never tried it um i think it's gonna work pretty well uh hopefully we have enough dry eyes I know I definitely have enough beer, so let's get started. So today we're going to uh, start on the fit check and stuff for the roll cage. Um, here's the shell of the dash. Um, this is where the steering wheel would be. Um, so what we want, what I'm wanting to do, is um, cut this guy off and cut this guy off because the dash mounts right there. So, and then we'll take and we'll mount the dash in the car without all the extra crap. Now, <clears throat> the roll cage is gonna come down and come down through right here to a plate on the ground, or right on the floor. Um, that bar that runs across the car is gonna be welded to the roll cage, or a new bar will be welded to the roll cage. So that means we're gonna have to make a way to mount the steering column right back here. So I'm probably going to cut this piece out and either reuse it or um, use it to mock up a place for a new piece that I'll make. Um, but that's, that's where we're starting.
All right, so we got everything measured out on the roll cage. Um, and what we're going to do for our main hoop right here, you can't see it, but that's the center line of the car. Um, I've made a cheater pipe. Uh, this guy right here um, that shows where the start of our bins will start. Um, and I use that to find where the start of this bin is going to start, or where that bin is going to start. And I know using my protractor that I want a 60 degree angle right there. So starting right there, we want to do 60 degrees. Um, and uh, that's with no tolerance in there, no space off here. So I subtracted a half an inch from that um, and a half an inch from the other side. And uh, that way it'll, it'll sit back off of it a little bit. Um, but once we bend our 60, we'll come down right here. And um, this is where we want to start our 30 degree bend to run straight down um, to the floor right right in here um, where we'll have a six by six uh, eighth inch steel plate well to um, so that translates out to here um, this pipe uh, this pipe's 12 foot long. That's about what I came up with. It's a little overkill for what I need, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Um, I measured to the center, six foot, which would be my center line in the car. Um, and I came out 13 and a half inches on this side and 13 and a half inches on this side. And that'll be where my two 60 degree bends start to run down the pillars. Um, that's where I'm at with it now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the bender here and uh, start on the main hoop. Gotta tack it up here and here and then weld it and then I'll have to make another piece to come across there. Um, but that's where I'm at with it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it in and get it all going. Okay, so um, we're ready to start um, bending the front bars. Um, uh, these will be the, the bars that will come over and come down and come down through here. Um, I'm not going to run them through the holes in the dash even though I like that. Um, but I want to be able to pull the dash out and I want to be able to paint the car without the dash in it. And, uh, I'd like to just be able to pull the dash out. And if I run up through the holes, I'm not gonna be able to pull the dash out. So. Um, but what I did here was, um, I'm starting from the center and working out. I figured out how much material I need. Uh, it's gonna be about uh, 81 inches, I believe. So I came in here and I came back 40 and a half and went down 40 and a half. That's my center line. And then I know that I want a 65 degree bend starting right here. I used a cheater pipe. And then I want a 25 degree bend starting right here, running back up that way. Um, so for my center line, I need to come out 12 and three quarter inches to the start of my bend and nine and a quarter inches to the start of my bend here. And uh, we'll start with that and see how it looks. 
Um, here I've got my material, uh, 80 and a half inches long, or 81 inches long, 40 and a half to the center, and then nine and a quarter out this way to my 65 degree bend, and from the center, 12 and three quarters to my to the start of my 25 degree bend that way. Um, and then I'll have to bend uh, this guy right here at like a 15 degree offset. So, uh, one little trick I found out, I'm OCD about marking my lines all the way around the pipe. And I found out that a paper towel roll will fit right over this material perfect. And then I have a solid, you know, true line to mark all the way around the material. So that way when I'm spinning it in the bender, I know, you know, where my line is all the time. But, alrighty, I'm gonna bend these up and we'll see how bad we fucked them up and if we're gonna have to do another one or another pair. So we got both the uh, front bars bent. Um, oh, I've already got one of them in the car. Here's one of them. Got to cut it down a little bit. Um, there's the other one. Um, looks looks bad on camera. The angles look bad, but um, they're really, really good in real life. In real life, look. But I'll show you what it looks like from the front. So now I gotta get this one cut down and um, notched. And then maybe we can start tacking it all together. I swear to God, Harbor Freight needs to sponsor me for promoting their fucking tools. But, uh, this piece of shit right here was 30 bucks or something. The greatest fucking thing ever. No, it's not a nice Bailey or um, JD Squared Notcher. It, it's a cheap piece of shit, but for the most part, it gets the job done. It's not gonna give you a perfect notch every time you're gonna have to fucking use a drum sander or something to get it to fit perfect but hard to if you see this all right it's full all right guys uh, as you can tell the garage is cleaned up so it's the end of the fucking weekend um, I made some decent progress this weekend uh, I got the roll cage I got the front bars all tacked in uh, don't mind my racer seat there. Um, I built the bar that's going to come across the front. But it's all there. The plates are in. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Uh, um, I also went to Shreveport and picked up that guy right there which is a front wheel drive element transmission, but it has the all wheel drive uh, bell housing. So that's all I'm really worried about with that. I also picked up a CRV transmission online. Uh, it was too good a deal to pass up. So hopefully I don't get screwed on that and it actually shows up. But that's where we're at right now. Um, see you guys next weekend.